Hola and hello. This is Samantha Serrano reporting from Madrid, Spain about La Noche en Blanco, or the Night in White. La Noche en Blanco is a citywide cultural festival. The second annual event featured hundreds of attractions across the capital, all for free. Thousands of Madrileños stayed up on September 22nd to see museums that were open overnight, shows, and other exhibitions throughout the city. <laughs> Locals and tourists flocked to see performances beginning in the early afternoon on the 22nd. The final performances did not end until 7 a.m. the following morning. Some main streets were closed to traffic to allow pedestrians to walk with ease throughout the capital. Street performers lined the sidewalks and plazas to show the crowd what they could do. <laughs> Thousands of people gathered to celebrate La Noche en Blanca in the Plaza de Colón between, during, and after performances and exhibitions. It is amazing, it is crowded, it feels like it's a New Year's event. There's so many people everywhere, everybody's like drinking and everybody has a beer in their hand. From, from what I've seen, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good experience to know everybody's out. It's a, it's a community-like environment and I mean, it makes you feel very welcome, especially being from the United States. Uh, so far, I have drank a lot of beer and enjoyed all the people, but yet, I guess it's about culture, but I have yet to see any of it myself. Many art enthusiasts had trouble seeing all of the exhibitions they wished to see due to backed up transportation systems and long lines. People reportedly waited three hours to get into the product. And being in the metro was just a challenge trying to get through. Tonight, I would like to see a little bit more, you know, maybe some, maybe our exhibit, but I'm probably too drunk at the moment to really appreciate it in the, anyway, so it doesn't matter. To make the wait seem shorter, people in line were often able to see open air music performances like this one in front of the National Library. <laughs> If we were to have something like this in the United States, everybody would be fighting at this point, and the cops would be breaking it up. Reporting from La Noche en Blanco in Madrid, Spain, I'm Samantha Serrano.